Fancy speaking to a computer. We are at the International Exhibition, Electronic Engineering and Control Equipment. Computers, computers. They're applied in weather forecasting, medicine, manufacturing and research. The production lines will soon hardly need people. They'll become completely automatic. Artificial intelligence and the electronic brain. Who would have believed it a century ago? Nevertheless, the computer is a data storage system created by man. You're quite right. A human tells a machine what to do, when to do it, and how it should be done. There's no magic involved. The machine is programmed to process data, fast and accurately. I wish I had more of them in my lab. How could they help you? They would do a lot of useful operations. They'd do calculations. They'd keep records of our financial affairs. They'd create diagrams and drawings. They'd process the results of our experiments. As a matter of fact, computers do save a lot of energy and time. We'll soon have to change our ideas of the world. The age of personal computers has come. What would you like your personal computer to do? If I could afford one, I'd like it to help me with different kinds of writing chores. Fancy speaking to a computer. Why not? Let's have a look round. The group sees and hears a lot of ads. Every firm advertises its product. Now, ladies and gentlemen, set your imagination free. Here's a creature, uh, an object. Let's have a talk. I'm ready. What university did you graduate from? I'm an Oxford graduate. Do you earn a high salary? I'd rather not answer that question. Would you like to find a better job? No, I wouldn't. I'm quite satisfied. I enjoy the job I am doing. Do you expect any promotion? No, not at present. Do you think you can manage a factory or farm? Oh no, I'm not sure I could manage such a position. Why not? Where there's a will, there's a way. Unbelievable! I'd rather have a smoke if you don't mind. Could you give me a light? Well, we've just heard the voice of a robot designed and assembled by our friend, the engineer. Our engineer is surrounded by pressmen. Can I have a word with you? You don't mind if I take a photo of your machine, do you? It's beyond me. A speaking machine and our modest friend. Nothing surprising about it, really. He's a Nobel Prize winner. And you kept it a secret? Why, no. This is something I've learned just now. That's news to everybody. I wish I had known it before. Still waters run deep. If I'd known it before, I'd have interviewed the Nobel Prize winner. I'd have taken a photo of him. I could have written an article about him. It's never too late. Most astonishing. Anyway, I have seen robots do housework. I've seen them cook. I have watched them assemble devices at plants. I've heard them compose music. I've watched them play chess. I've even seen robots explore the moon. But I've never heard a robot speak before. Have you ever seen a robot look into your eyes? Have you ever felt one touch your hand? I haven't experienced it so far. Have you? Who knows what the future may bring us?